The last two things I'm going to talk about on our Chinese dragons is how I did the spiral nose, as well as cutting and gluing on some horns. So this is where we left off. We have our eyes and our mouth done, and now we need to put a nose on. I'm choosing yellow for my nose, and to make the nostrils, I actually cut out circles first. So I'm gonna fold my paper in half, and I'm gonna cut while the paper's folded, so when I cut, I make two shapes by cutting once. And I turn my paper, my helper hand is busy, the hand that's holding the paper is very busy. It turns the paper as I cut, so I wanna try to work on doing that at the same time so that I get a nice smooth circle. Now I have two shapes. What I did after I cut the circle is I cut a spiral. So you're gonna just start on one side and you start to cut in. And you're just, it's sort of like you're trimming your circle, but you never touch your cut. So I keep going in as I turn around, as my paper turns. I keep cutting and cutting and cutting until I get to near the middle. And this is where I try to make kind of a nostril shape, so I'm gonna cut a little bit extra out and remove it so there's a round shape. So if I put this all flat together, you can see how it almost looks like a letter E. There's like a, a lowercase e here, but it's all connected. Then I'm gonna take these two and separate them. And the other thing I wanna do is I wanna flip one of them over so that they are symmetrical. So the, the, the tips are pointing towards each other and the tails are pointing away from each other. To glue these, I like to just pull it apart. See, I'm stretching it. I'm not tearing it, but I'm stretching it so it kind of stands out. And then I'm just gonna be putting glue on this little, the, the center part. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue there and then you just decide how that circle is going to go. I'm going to start with my circle at the bottom. And I just press it down. If it doesn't stick up as much as you would like, you just pull a little bit more to shape it. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I glue just in the center on the tip part. I hold it down, and I also want to pull this up to make sure, oops, to make sure that I'm not getting that part stuck to my paper. So now I have a fun little spiral nose that pops out. And the last thing that you might want to do, if you haven't put cut horns when you cut your shape, I'm gonna add some horns. So I'm just gonna take a blue paper and I'm going to fold it in half so I can cut two again. So this time I'm going to do sort of a, uh, like a, a J shape. So I kind of go straight and then I, I'm putting a little point on my horns. And then I'm gonna go back and it's gonna get wider as I go towards the end. Now these two are still stuck together because I was hanging onto the hold, or the hanging onto the fold. So then I'm just gonna cut on that fold. And then I can decide where I'm putting my horns. You can have the horns sticking out the front, which I kind of like. Or you can put them behind your dragon so that you don't see where the ends are. And because these hang off, I'm only gonna be putting glue on the bottom edge and then I will place it and hold it down. The bottom edge and try to do your best to make your dragon symmetrical. You wanna to try to have the same space between the center line and you also want to have, see how my horns are pointing the same direction? They don't have to point towards each other on this example. You can see how they point away from each other, but I tried to place them in the same place on both dragons. And the last thing you can do, now that your eyes are dry, you can take your finger and you sort of curve your lashes. So 
I'm taking my finger and I'm just sort of bending it around my finger so that I can have my lashes curl up a little. 